Hello friends, Hope you are well. Techman Pat here. Today we're going to be reviewing the EPOS H3 gaming headset. This is a wired headset. It is pretty darn cool. It is very nice in regards to its materials, but is it actually any good for gaming? And of course, is the microphone good enough for you to shout profanities at your friends in game? Let's roll the intro. So as you can hear, the actual microphone quality is pretty darn good, much better than a lot of headphones out there, especially if they are wireless, and it's probably on the higher range of most wired ones. This would do pretty well in business phone calls and gaming just because it looks pretty stealthy. But the one thing that really stands out about these headphones is the ear cushions. These ear cushions are some of the most comfortable things I've worn on my ears in my life, especially for gaming headphones. Gaming headphones tend to stay on your head a lot longer than most other headphones. Unless, of course, you're talking about, let's say, this Be Quiet. Those do tend to stay on a long time, and those are also very comfortable. I would compare those cushions to the Be Quiet 2 and the latest one. They are really smooth around the outside, like a leathery type thing, and in very plushy, like a material that's very light, not satiny. I don't like satiny stuff. This is really nice. It's not one of those things that, you know, hangs on your fingernails or anything like that. It's really smooth. And then inside it's a breathable little kind of cover or something you'd call it material. It's got pores and then obviously the actual speaker. It is a closed back system, which means the sound stays inside your ear and it gets really nice and loud. And it doesn't distort at higher music levels, which I really like, especially when you're playing a game like Battlefield and there's a giant explosion. You don't want that crackling going through your head just as the action's pumping up. It really takes you out of the game. The actual bits at the top are completely movable up and down and they're metal for once and they have numbers so you can remember what size you are on each side. They feel pretty solid. It is plasticky on here and there's a little bit of a plasticky side here. Like it's got a lot of connections. It feels pretty solid. I tried to stretch it and I accidentally dropped them the other day it seemed to be okay. The top has a nice fluffy leathery cushion at the top and you can't quite feel what's inside, which is good. So when you pop it onto your head, you basically don't feel the top. Moving along, we have a cable and it is completely removable. So just in case you're wondering why, it's because you get another extra cable like this that connects up to, you guessed it, let's say a PlayStation 5 controller, where you can actually have the sound and microphone coming through the controller, which is absolutely brilliant. Part of the reason this is so cool is because Sony has actually put in that feature into their controller. So both the microphone and headphones can go through here. And to be honest, at that point in time, it doesn't matter that it's wireless because you're kind of holding the controller next to you anyway, and the cable is long enough. It does have your standard PC connection, which is both separate microphone jack and an audio jack. Now this is a little bit different. It's a very small connection. It does go in really, really tightly. There is some sort of grip around it as you push it in. It doesn't just come out. It's not gonna come out when you pull your headphone away. Uh, so be careful with that. And this actual microphone, when it comes down, it turns on. And then there's a slight click right at the end where it turns off. So there's no mute button but when you push the microphone up, it'll mute straight away. And on this side, we have a little wheel. It's not a click wheel and it doesn't go fully around. What it does is stop at one side to let you know that you've reached the lowest level of the audio and then you can spin it all the way back up to the other side. I do like that, but I would have preferred one that just spins anyway and I wouldn't have to worry about it. But it does mean that you can kind of remember where your actual sound level is at and it doesn't reset every time you reset the actual thing. So what's the highlight of this device? Well, first of all, the audio is spectacular. I have to say that listening to just music on this, I forgot I was wearing them and the audio quality was great. I would say these probably aren't as good as, you know, the top of the line audio file Sennheisers for gaming and for hearing those explosions in games like Battlefield and Doom, these do an absolutely fantastic job. I did feel that the enclosed nature of it made my voice feel a little bit weird because it bounces around in your skull. And speaking on the microphone, I did get a little bit louder. My wife did tell me off to be quiet and I had to 
kind of be quieter. But part of the fun is being told off for being too loud while gaming. Nonetheless, that is one thing you should note that your voice obviously isn't going to be heard because of the closed back nature of these headphones. Coming back to that microphone, as you've heard, the quality is very, very good um, and completely adequate for most gaming and video calls, so I have no complaints. Now, the price point at $179 at JB Hi-Fi is kind of expensive, but for the quality of it and the quality of the microphone and the cushions, I actually have to admit it's pretty good comparably to other devices. Now the great thing is obviously it can work with your consoles. That means you don't have to buy an overly expensive headset for your console. And that means this kind of fits in really well for a premium multi-use case. It is very stealth. It doesn't look like a gamery headset, it doesn't have any RGB, I'm sorry, but it does do its job really, really well. Would I recommend this to anyone that's looking for a new headset and doesn't want to buy the most generic ones out there? Yes. If you're looking for something with RGB and stealthily looking for business use and gaming, yes, this is a good headset for you. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to EBOS for sending this device for a review. Really interesting. I hadn't had heard from them before this actual review and I'm very impressed for my first device I've ever reviewed from them. Catch you all in another one. Make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe and we'll see you then. Bye!